Hi, and welcome to Polarized Relationships. My name is Frank DeGenova, and today we're going to be unpacking a short film from a cool little YouTube. I think it's been four years now, and they do short mini ones for up-and-coming filmmakers. So give credit to Amaletto, and this uh, episode is called Pieces. It takes place in one house. There's four couples, and it's interesting because everything seems together. There's four different stories, but it's like one person walks at the door, and then the, the next character uh, set comes in, and the camera doesn't move. Anyway, so today is another cool little clip about masculine and feminine communication and also other factors. So let's unpack this now. This is called Pieces, and it starts off with a couple in bed. So let's take a look at this. <laughs> Seriously, I was that kind of kid. Like the one that couldn't sit still. A little bit of a rubble, you You're know? A rubble. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can see that. <laughs> My mom even put um, one of those leashes on me, you know? A leash? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, that kid. Oh, yeah. so you were that well. So they get up from the morning. It's probably morning. They made love the night, the night before. And the dialogue starts where she says she's been a wild child and the mom had to put a leash on her so this sets up the scene a little bit so he agrees yeah she's crazy she says i'm crazy um i'm wild and let's see what happens i was wild oh okay i see (laughs) (laughs) ha 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 hey did i actually mention that me and the girls are going to that uh place in town tonight the new place did i actually mention so it's like she probably knew about this and she just told her guy, her boyfriend. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go out with my girlfriends tonight. Babe, did you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. He he heard you, but he doesn't know how to respond to that because he's like, "Whoa, what happened?" I heard you. I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. So, he's not. He's being kind of. Uh, coy, not coy. He's he's not being direct enough. He's like, oh, I guess you guys are gonna have a fun. So his fear is coming up now. He's like, oh, she's a wild child. She's going out with a girls' night, and she didn't tell me. And he's like, oh, so you're gonna have lots of fun, hey? So he wasn't being direct. A lot of guys do this. They're afraid of standing in their power, and saying what they feel, in fear of backlash. What? The, um. You're just going to go without asking if I had anything going on? Do I have to run everything by you? <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice if you at least try. So he's got a point. Um, he wants to know, not just, oh, by the way. And she's starting to get defensive already that, um, you know, she has to be given account of everything and everything she does. So I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Not a little bit, soon, because it's only... A short clip here. Okay. All right. Sorry, Dad. Okay. You don't give me an attitude. I'm just saying. I'm not giving any yes, attitude. You are just... giving me an attitude. I'm just. Okay, Dad. Well, this shows right right away that she has um, issues with her daddy. Um, her dad was basically the leash that mom had on to her. So, um, she's a wild child. She seems like she didn't have any discipline. Um, And if there was a dad in her life, he was very, very, uh, he wasn't stern enough. She developed an impulsive, reckless, crazy attitude. So any authority in her life is foreign to her or she doesn't like it. So it shows that she has father wounds and he's tiptoeing around that. And again, the father was the leash that the mother had around her. And it'd be nice sometimes if you ask me what if I had something going on. It's common courtesy. No, it's not courtesy. Yes, it no, is. No, you're, you're just being insecure. Yeah. So whenever men um, say, that's the, the that's what the fear of men are, is that, oh, I can't say that to her because of the backlash. And the reaction is, and no no attack on women. As I said, I'm not, I don't pick sides with these, with these unpackings. I just see what I see. And a lot of men are afraid to, to, to say certain things and the women seem to respond in dialogue and whatever. Oh, you're just insecure or you can't handle somebody like me or you want somebody you can control. 
it's not that from ladies. I want you to know that it's not about that. Um, getting really, really quick about this is that, oh, um, you know, you're not a real man because a real man would handle a strong woman. Now, this is a big topic because um, a real man won't put up with a strong and um, challenging woman that uh, challenges everything he says. Men that are weak and complicit, uh, compliant, acquiescent, um, that need approval, will allow a woman to, to behave that way. Um, and I'm, uh, there's so many, so many different examples, so I'm not picking any. There's a lot of different variables and a lot of gray areas for that. So I'm not specifying one thing, but this, let's carry on here. Secure. Yeah, because you think I'm just going to sleep with every guy that... I didn't say that. Me. Okay, so she's getting defensive now. Maybe she doesn't trust herself. Who knows? He's tiptoeing. He didn't say that, but it's, everything's implied here. All he hears is, "Oh, I had to be put on a leash. I was wild and impulsive. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not girl." So, he should have been more um, stern about how he spoke, more confident, more solid. So she's getting defensive. Oh, you're you're saying I'm 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 a that blah blah blah. It feels that way. Yeah. This was different. Did you really expect me to believe I'm the only one? Okay, that was that was passive aggressive. That was bad. Um, <laughs> crazy. So she's not going to re re react well to this at all. He's just basically calling her uh, a 304 or, or, or a whore or a slut. You're fucking asshole. There, there, you go. there fucking goes. Fucking asshole. Hey! And then the next scene, somebody comes in from that doorway and it's a whole different couple. Pretty wild how it's done. So getting back to, to the, the whole little... Um, that whole little, that small little clip there, is that there was a defense. There was someone who was insecure. The male was insecure. He wasn't really um, in his power to to describe how he really felt. She got defensive, and yeah. So this is a short clip, short uh, video. I um, just wanted to showcase this how um, we should be more. I wouldn't say clear, but. Uh, not tiptoe around things, but obviously not go hardcore and fight. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about in the comments of uh, what my um, unpacking is and what you feel what went on here. So, until next time.